All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be checking out the full contents of Global's latest data download for March 31st, 2023. Of course, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the promo movie for Global's next Dokkan Fest unit, which I know a lot of you guys are super excited for, and that would be the Dokkan Fest Yamcha. So, enjoy. Let me at him. I'll show him that I'm not messing around. Come on, let's do this. Buddy, because you're in for a real challenge. Ah, you're not gonna like this. So there you have it. After Super Saiyan God, we're getting Yamcha. And all jokes aside, I mean, <laughs> of course, at least for me personally, Yamcha is not like the most exciting, most hype character, but. They did a pretty good job with his animations, you know, all things considered. Um, so yeah, Dokkan Fest Yamcha is on the way. He's dropping, uh, let's see, on uh, March 4th, or sorry, April 3rd, my bad, April 3rd at 6.30 a.m. GMT, uh, which is, uh, I think, 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and uh, that is about four days away so if you guys are planning to summon for Yamcha you're excited for his banner then definitely save those stones and uh, I will make a pass or pull video as well in a few days to give you guys a full breakdown of the uh, banner the unit details and all that good stuff so uh, this is the SSR Yamcha and there is the TUR art for the Yamcha and then we also have the uh, Tech Yajirobi which is the side banner unit SSR and TUR and this guy is actually very good um, but we'll get into it in the other video so from there we have some awakenings and easy A's for uh, some free to play units this is the uh, Great Saiyan Man and Videl and also the Int Bulma so two awakenings right there uh, or sorry uh, a Extreme Z awakening and then a Dokken awakening for this unit and then there is the Dokken awakening medal and uh, that's dropping on uh, April 2nd at 6 a.m. GMT or I believe 2 a.m. Eastern Time. And we also have an Extreme Z Awakening for the uh, LR Oob. And oh, Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku is also getting his own Extreme Z Awakening. So in total, four easy A's for Battlefield slash free to play units. And then from there, we have uh, four new stages of quest mode, area 30, stages one to four. I believe they are already available in the game. One, two, three, four. I just realized that the music hasn't been on for the entire time, but you know, I'll add it in post so you guys will still hear the music in the background. It's just, I forgot to turn it back on. Okay, so yeah, four new quest mode stages uh, available now. A revamp for the uh, Big Bucks Hercule Challenge. And uh, that's going to be released at the same time as Yamcha on uh, April 3rd at 6.30 a.m. GMT. We also have the Dokkan event for Yamcha focused key manipulating technique. And uh, there is the map and there is the Dokkan Awakening Medal for Yamcha. And uh, two new stages for um, the uh, Extreme Z Area Special Characters Edition, which of course are for Bulma and also the Saiyan Man and Videl. So these are the two maps for those stages, and then the uh, actual Extreme Z Awakening Medals for the Bulma, and also for the uh, Great Saiyan Man and Videl. And after that, we have uh, the LR Bojack Extreme Z Awakening slash Extreme Z Battle Event. So here are some assets from that, the event logo, the event banner, and also the Extreme Z Awakening uh, Medal for Bojack as well. And uh, we got some missions here for Battlefield 53, which is going to be available uh, soon, within a week or so, I believe. 
and uh, some tickets. So this one, of course, is for the Yamcha banner. Uh, this is a Supreme Weekend Summon ticket, and I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be different from the standard Weekend Summon ticket, or if it's just going to be the same thing with a different name. Uh, not sure about that, but this does mean we're getting another Weekend Summon, which is always exciting. And uh, some login screen assets as well for... Uh, oh, the April Fool's um, login events, uh, which we will get into in a second. If you guys don't want any details though, then uh, feel free to, I don't know, skip a minute or so because I will quickly talk about it. Um, we don't have that many details yet about like what the unit is or anything like that. But basically, uh, this year's April Fool's event or April Fool's theme is Dokkan Fishing. And uh, we have this image here of the uh, little kid Goku fishing with his tail. New mode, Dokkan Fishing, Implementation Decision. A fishing mode where you aim to become the strongest fisher by catching fish in the world of Dragon Ball. Like I always say, man, it's a really cool idea. It's a very cool concept. It's something that I would love to actually see in the game as a real event that we can play, but sadly, it's uh, just for April Fools. I'd be so happy if one day they just decided to turn all of these past April Fool's events into actual mini games and we can earn like, I don't know, Zenny or Burst Coins or whatever. It doesn't even matter what we get from it. It would just be fun, right? So uh, maybe one day, maybe one day. Uh, anyways, that is the April Fool's thing. And before we get out of here, let's quickly check out the details for the two uh, free to play extremes, the Awakenings for the Int Bulma and also the Great Saiyan Man and uh, Videl. So starting with the Bulma, leader skill is going to be Dragon Ball Seekers, uh, category K plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or int types K plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, supreme damage, with a high chance of stunning the enemy, and raises attack and defense by 41% for 4 turns. And passive is activates the entrance animation once only, and attack and defense plus 40% and chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks, plus 29% for 4 turns. When there is an ally, whose name includes Goku Youth on the team, at start of character's attacking turn. Attack and defense plus 141%, a high chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks, plus an additional attack plus 41% with in the same turn per attack evaded, and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 81% uh, and key plus 9 when there is an ally whose name includes Goku Youth attacking in the same turn. DB Saga category allies attack plus 40% and defense plus 29% self excluded. Um, there is so much going on in this passive but as a whole uh, she essentially has a really good chance to dodge for the first um, four turns uh, she can get actually a lot of attack a good amount of defense as well and uh, she's also raising attack and defense by 41 percent for four turns on her super attack so uh yeah she's just doing a lot it's actually a really good looking free to play unit links are shocking speed money 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 brainiacs uh, incredible adventure guide is the dragon ball scientist and shattering the limit and categories are peppy gals dragon ball seekers youth db saga earthlings and earth bread spiders so that is the Bulma, and next up we have the Great Saiyan Man of Adele. Leader skill is Defenders of Justice, category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 77% or SDR types key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, it causes supreme damage and lowers extreme class enemies attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 158% plus an additional attack and defense plus 58% when performing a super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 58% when attacking extreme class enemies, chance of evading enemies attacks and chance of performing a critical hit plus 4% and attack and defense plus 10% per uh, defenders of justice category ally on the team. Defenders of justice category allies keep plus 3 and attack and defense and chance to perform a critical hit plus 18%. Seals the attack the enemy super attack for two turns. Links are in fighter, courage, patrol, hero of justice, signature pose, uh, shocking speed and shattering the limit in categories are joint forces, movie heroes, defenders of justice, bond of parent and child, and earth bred fighters. 
So, uh, yeah, not as interesting as the Bulma, honestly, but, um, you know, they're going to be a pretty decent failure unit for Defenders of Justice, which is definitely a category that needs more units. So uh, another usable unit in that category is definitely good. And, uh, you know, decent support. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, that is going to be the data download, guys. Like I said, I'll do a full breakdown and analysis of the uh, Yamcha, Dokkan Fest Yamcha release and banner, all that stuff in a separate video. Uh, but for now, that is Global's latest data download. Another big shout out to my boy Proton10MG for posting all this stuff. Definitely hit him up with a follow if uh, you haven't done that. And uh, thank you guys for watching as always. Um, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.